treatment begins with one medication. The antibiotic kills many of the bacteria. A second dose of the antibiotic kills off even more bacteria, but still some remain alive, resistant to the antibiotic. If the patient does not take all the prescribed antibiotics, these resistant bacteria multiply and pass their resistance to their descendants, and the patient remains sick. In this way, a strain of bacteria evolves to become fully resistant to an antibiotic. And the same cycle can continue until the person is resistant to all the medications that we use to treat tuberculosis. It's a classic example of natural selection. Genetic variation within bacteria strains allows some bacteria to survive even when hit with antibiotics. These surviving bacteria are selected and continue to evolve, that is, survive and reproduce over time, unless treatment is thorough. A single bacterium can reproduce a million times in a single human lifespan. It would be impossible for me to do my work with the sufferers of TB without understanding how evolution works, because evolution is key in how we treat and understand the disease. 